Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to simulate 741 op amp based amplifier and filter circuits in LTSPICE. The 741 is a popular op amp model. In this video, we will cover DC operating point, transient, and AC analysis simulation of 741 op amp circuits. LTSPICE has a vast variety of op amps which can be accessed from the components library. Typically, the universal op amp 2 model can be used in student projects and simulations. It provides sufficiently accurate results. Unfortunately, the 741 op amp model is not available in LTSPICE. In this video, we will see how to add this model to LTSPICE. The data sheet for the 741 op amp is readily available on the internet. This figure in the data sheet shows that the op amp comprises 22 BJTs, one re 11 resistors, one diode, and one capacitor. Circuit simulators such as LT Spice do not attempt to simulate the complete internal circuitry of the op amp. Instead, they use macro modeling technique to represent the important op amp behavior from the device terminal perspective. The first macro model of the 741 op amp was originally proposed by Boyle in 1974. Since then, this Boyle macro model has been modified and updated. A modified Boyle macro model for the 741 op amp is available on page 62 in this excellent resource. Let us look at page 10 in this document which is available online. This figure shows the generic block diagram of an op amp macro model. Each stage is appropriately modeled using circuit components and the macro model parameters are obtained from the op amp data sheet. On page 62 in this document, we have the 741 op amp sub circuit. This sub circuit has five inputs. The first is the non inverting input pin, the next is the inverting input pin, the two power supply connections, and the output pin. The netlist for the macro model is defined here. Please refer to this document if you wish to study this model in more detail. In this video, we will use this 741 sub circuit definition. We need to copy paste this definition in a muA741.lib file. Then place this sub circuit file in the ltspice slash lib slash sub directory. Note that in the latest version of ltspice, each user works with their own copy of the library files, which is situated at this path. Thus, do not place this file in the folder where ltspice is installed. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these instructions in more detail. The next step is to link this 741 op amp model to an LTSPICE symbol. Luckily, we do not need to create an op amp symbol from scratch. LTSPICE has a generic op amp symbol for use with sub circuits, which is op amp 2. Note that op amp and universal op amp 2 are already linked to sub circuits, so we do not want to make any changes to them. Place the op amp 2 symbol in a schematic. Then right click this symbol to open the component attribute editor. Click on open symbol. This opens the op amp 2 symbol. First, we want to save this symbol as a muA741, 
So go file, save as, and give it a name mu a741. And this will save it in the default library containing all the op amp symbols as a as a mu a seven four one dot asy file. Click save. We can check the pin configuration of this symbol. Click on view and pin table. This shows the connection order of the pins. Luckily, this matches the connection order of the sub circuit. So we do not need to make any changes to it. Now we need to rename this op amp as mu a741. Click on edit attributes, then edit attributes. Under value, we enter mu a741. Under description, we can enter model defined in mu a741 dot lib file click ok the value is now displayed on the symbol we can now save and exit now when we go to the components library the 741 op amp symbol now shows up in the component library we can place this symbol on the schematic and get rid of the previous symbol in order to use this symbol properly we need to put a spice directive in the schematic so go to edit spice directive and here we put a dot include ua741.lib command click ok this now tells LT Spice to load the model from this file. This completes the process of linking the sub circuit to an LT Spice symbol. The steps that were just demonstrated are also summarized in the next two slides. These are the first two steps. Please pause the video now if you wish to study them in more detail. These are the last steps. Again, please pause the video if you wish to study them in more detail. Let us look at simulation aspects now. First, consider an op amp amplifier circuit as shown here. This is a non-inverting op amp amplifier as the input signal is being applied to the positive input pin of the op amp. For this amplifier, we have a Y or a T structure of resistors in the feedback path. Using the ideal op amp assumption, we can derive an expression for the output voltage in terms of the input voltage as shown here. For the given value of resistors, this circuit provides a gain of 8.25. Thus, for 0.2 volt DC input, we expect an output voltage of 1.6 volts DC. And for a 0.2 volt peak sign input, we expect the output voltage to be 1.65 volt peak sign wave. First, let us look at DC operating point simulation of an op amp amplifier circuit. This is the same circuit constructed in LT Spice. So the input is 0.2 volt DC being applied at the positive pin of the op amp. We are using the 741 op amp model. We are running a DC operating point simulation. When we run this simulation, we can obtain the node voltages. So if I bring the cursor to the output node, we can see in the bottom left corner of the screen that the output voltage is 1.65 
polls as expected. Also, we can look for other node voltages. So here, the voltage at this node, which is the voltage at the negative input pin of the op amp, is equal to 200 millivolts, which is same as the applied voltage, which is applied at the positive pin of the op amp. Next, let's look at transient simulation of op amp amplifier circuits. Recall that for transient simulation, we must specify the stop time, which is the final simulation time, and place this spice directive on the schematic. Also recall that for transient simulation, we must use the independent voltage source in sign configuration and we need to specify it, the amplitude and frequency. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these parameters in more detail. This is the same amplifier circuit set up for transient simulation. We are applying a sine wave having 0.2 amplitude, 50 Hertz frequency and zero DC offset. When we run this simulation, we, when, we can look at the input voltage, which is a 200 millivolt peak sine wave having 50 Hertz frequency. And also we can look at the output voltage. We can click here to enable the cursor. We can move this cursor to the peak value we can see that the peak value of the output voltage is 1.648 and this is very close to the 1.65 volt theoretical value. Note that in LTSPICE it is possible to customize the plot. We can select the plot window to make it active, then click on tools and color preferences. In this menu, we can customize the colors for the trace, the axis, the background, and grid colors. So if you want to change the default colors, you can do that here. Next, let us look at the frequency response of an op-amp low-pass filter. Using circuit theory, we can show that the theoretical transfer function of this first order low pass filter is as shown here. This filter has a break or critical frequency of 1 kHz. It provides a gain of 10 in linear, which is 20 dB, for input signals having a frequency less than the break frequency. For this filter circuit, we are interested in simulating this circuit to obtain the Bode magnitude and Bode phase plots. In order to run the AC simulation, we still use the independent voltage source. However, we must enter one for the AC amplitude of this source. This setting is necessary to give a calibrated transfer function at the output. Note that if we are running a transient simulation, then this AC value is ignored. However, if we are running an AC simulation, then the sign attributes are ignored and the AC attribute is used. This is the filter circuit constructed in LTSPICE. The op amp is being powered with plus minus 15 volt power supply. For this circuit, we are using the AC analysis simulation. Typically, we use type of sweep as decade. It is also possible to change this. We specify the number of points per decade, as well as the start and the stop frequency. This generates this spice directive, which must be placed on the schematic. Note that we also include the SPICE directive to specify the path to the op-amp model and we have set the AC amplitude to 1. When we simulate, 
we can look at the Bode magnitude and the Bode phase plots. We can enable the cursor. Now when we move the cursor, we can read the values of the magnitude and the phase here. We can see that for low frequencies, this filter is providing a gain of 20 dB. At 1 kilohertz, which is the break frequency, the magnitude is approximately 3 dB below the gain at low frequencies. At higher frequencies, the attenuation is minus 20 dB per decade. To conclude, in this video we have looked at the DC operating point and transient analysis of op-amp amplifier circuits as well as AC analysis of op-amp filter circuits. The 741 op-amp sub-circuit file used in the simulations is provided in the video descriptions and the comments below. Thank you for watching this video.